Merry Christmas. Welcome to The Mungle Show. I'm Matt Mungle. This week, as always, looking at what's hitting the theater, plus what's coming to your DVD shelf. Also, Will Smith's going to join us to talk about his upcoming film, Seven Pounds. Hope you guys are enjoying your time with family, friends, holiday celebrations among us, and it's always a blast, and I appreciate you guys being with us here on The Mungle Show. Let's kick it off with what's hitting theaters this week, Nothing Like the Holidays, starring John Leguizamo, Freddie Rodriguez, and Deborah Messing. I got some pretty good hopes for this movie. The previews looked funny, the clips that we saw, and we even showed a couple of weeks ago, really look humorous, but a really grounded sort of humor, so I'm excited about it. Again, it's called Nothing Like the Holidays. Another movie that I didn't get to see before the taping of this show, The Day the Earth Stood Still, starring Keanu Reeves, Jennifer Connelly, and Kathy Bates. You can go to our website and read the full review, but unfortunately all I have to tell you right now is what I've seen in the previews, and that is the fact that it just looks like The Matrix Redone, and I blame that on Keanu Reeves. Or maybe I should just blame it on myself. I watched the previews, I watched the trailer, and all I can think about is Matrix, Matrix, Matrix. But you can definitely check out the review on our website up by Friday. Check it out, mungleshow.com. And it's the remake of the classic 1951 sci-fi film about aliens who land on Earth with an important message for its citizens. Now, a film I did see that I highly recommend is called Doubt, starring Meryl Streep, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Amy Adams. John Patrick Shanley not only directs this, but wrote the screenplay, and he also wrote the award-winning play that this movie is based upon. So he adapted it from his original play onto the big screen, and I think that helped out this film a lot because it doesn't lose any of its stage feel, but it does transition nicely to the big screen. What's brilliant about this is the acting performances. Meryl Streep, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Amy Adams, these three bring the best acting performances of the year. Meryl Streep for sure. Nobody topped her in the best actress category for this role. I would not be surprised if at least two out of three of them did not get Oscar nods for this. Possibly all three, and at least one should take home a little gold statue this year. Probably one of the better films this year. Definitely want to check out this week. Again, it's called Doubt starring Meryl Streep, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and Amy Adams. Over to DVDs, one of the most anticipated films of the year releases this week, The Dark Knight. Nothing like it was at IMAX, but still, the root of the film is there, and the performances by Heath Ledger, top notch. So again, if you missed it in the theater, shame on you, because this had to be viewed on the big screen. But if you didn't get a chance to, you must check it out now on DVD. It's called The Dark Knight. Along with Horton Hears a Who, with the voices of Jim Carrey and Steve Carell, the Dr. Seuss classic comes to DVD this week as well. Lost fans, season four on DVD. Check that out. See if you can catch up on what's going on with Lost. I'm totally lost. Interesting news from the Hollywood front. Twilight director Catherine Hardwick has reportedly been turned down as director of the smash hit vampire film sequel, New Moon, despite vocalizing her desire to be involved with the product. This comes from IMDb. And I was interested in this because a lot of people gave some flack to Catherine Hardwick about how she ruined the movie Twilight from what the original books intended it to be. Like I said, take that as you will. The fact remains, she's not coming back. The new drama starring Will Smith called Seven Pounds hits theaters December the 19th. Here, Will talks about his character at the beginning of the film. Ben Thomas, uh, he has experienced a, uh, a devastating uh, trauma. Uh, he, uh, he made a really big mistake. He was depressed for a while, and then uh, he got an idea of how he could repent. And so the, the, that's where the, the, the film begins, where Ben Thomas is, he's setting out to find uh, a, a group of people, seven people, whose lives that he can change forever. Film also stars Rosario Dawson, and here Will Smith talks about working with her. Rosario Dawson, I was, I was telling her a couple weeks ago, it's like, in this role, like they were painting dark circles under her eyes and then and they're doing the blue of the vein painting it on her head and all of that so you can see that she's veiny and cheeks sunken in and all that and she's the most stunning that she's ever looked it's like when i i was i was i'm like oh my god there's nothing they can do to you. It's like, I just, they made you better. Like, what did they, I don't know, how is that even possible? But she, I mean, she just, it's like, with, with all of that stripped away, it's like you can see uh, into her heart, you know? It's like, you know, you can see who she really is. It's just, it's beautiful. Will goes on to talk about the relationship between his character, Ben, and Rosario's character, Emily. Ben, um, 
after he experienced uh, the the loss that, that he experienced, he didn't realize that there was even a potential for life to continue. You know, he didn't he didn't know that you know he might be able to smile again, right? So when he meets uh, Rosario Dawson's character Emily, when when they meet, he 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 actually can't figure out what's going on, what's happening, the difficulty he's having in just continuing with his plan the way that he <laughs> the way that he set forth. That's Will Smith talking about his new film Seven Pounds. The drama hits theaters December the nineteenth. Well, that does it for this week's Mongol Show. I appreciate you guys as always hanging out with us. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The next coming weeks, we're going to be talking about the favorite picks of 2008, doing some specialty shows as we get in depth in what was good and what was bad this past year. So until next time, I'm Matt Mungle.